I um, actually think this for AI chip companies, right? Like anyone who's making an AI entrance chip, AI training chip will not compete with NVIDIA. They're going to compete with OpenAI. And the reason for this is because when, when you uh, create a chip, even if it's like, you know, uh, faster, better, more energy efficient, you're still not going to be able to sell it to like barely anyone. Even like, you know, some startups that are doing LLM specific chips, they have really like trouble like selling these LLM specific chips to any major chip providers. And the reason is because no one wants to trust, like no major person wants to trust like, you know, infrastructure that's used by millions of like millions of people on some startups chip. In the past 12 years, Meta has only sourced from startups two times for this kind of stuff. So what, what this means is that like most companies in this area, what they end up doing is they end up launching an API around their hardware. So, uh, w w and what you do, like if you, if you have a API around your hardware, then you're competing with other people who have, you know, AI, like uh, AI model APIs, like uh, Anthropic, OpenAI, and your differentiator is now Grok's differentiator, which is supposedly better hardware, right? So uh, can you really compete? Like even if you had like, you know, 10X hardware, and you, that, that would mean that your developer experience is really good, but can you compete with OpenAI's distribution? Can, can you compete with like, you know, clause models and like all these things is uh, quite a hard problem to solve. But if you're able to, you know, somehow get your chip past like, you know, a chip major chip maker's doors, that is like a big deal. So I totally agree. I think they are the biggest competition because there was a, also data that like Claude, because it was trained on H200s, they were somewhat better for some kind of operations such as coding than even OpenAI is O1 in some cases. So there is a lot of truth that if you have the latest GPUs, you you can have better models. Okay, now... And I think, again, that's way, way more true with O1, right? <laughs> because if you look at, like, uh, and everyone is saying this, which is now, like, it's now inference scaling because they've reduced, like, the reasoning thing to, like, if you look at a graph, it used to be, like, this much training and then like this much is like inference compute and now you move all of that to before and now the inference market literally you have like a 10x because everyone now wants to make an inference trip so